To open the lower unit of the CE870, unlock the lock on the top of the device, open the lid. You can remove the topping foil cartridge on the front of the embosser and the indent foil cartridge towards the rear. The rejects card hopper is located in the middle of the lower unit and you can pull any cards out of there if they've stacked up. The uh, reject hopper has a limit of about five cards, so if you have more than that in there, you'll get a uh, in, uh, reject hopper full error when you power on the machine. To join the two halves of the embossing unit, open the cover on the side and pull the lever on the top of the embossing unit to disengage the latch on the top. You can then place the top unit of the 870 into position. And you'll notice on the back of the embossing unit, there's a locating pin. You want to make sure that that pin goes into the receptacle on the top of the 870. Once you have it located properly, you'll notice that it just drops into place. At that point, you can push the locking latch back into position, replace your topping foil cartridge, indent cartridge, close the lid and lock. The CE870 has four connections in total. There's two power connections, one for the lower unit, one for the upper. There's a cable connecting the upper and lower unit, and then you have your network connection. So the power for the lower unit is a six-pin plug that needs to be inserted towards the front of the machine with the latch facing out. This can be tricky to get into position, so I recommend bending the cable about 90 degrees so it can angle in appropriately, and then just push till it clicks into place. Make sure it's secured. Then on the top unit, this is the same as the CD820. You have your power port in the middle of the device and your network cable towards the front. Now you'll notice that on the 870, there's actually two ports on the front there. One of the ports is for the cable connecting the lower unit with the upper unit. You want to connect that cable with the tab facing down, and that goes in first into the lower port and then your network cable goes in with the tab facing up on the upper port. Again, make sure that both cables are pushed in until they click and are secured into place. Sometimes during shipping, the embosser transport shuttle can become dislodged from the track and need to be reseated into position. So to check if that happened, just grab the tab on the back of the shuttle and lift up. If it has popped loose, all you need to do to get it back into place is press down firmly on the back of the shuttle until it clicks onto the transport bar. The other common issue with the embossing shuttle is that the sensor located on the back of the shuttle will become pushed down out of position, like so, and will cause transport er errors when you start up the embosser. So to correct that issue, you just need to reach down underneath the shuttle and push that sensor back up into position. If you can't get your finger under there, you can use a card or something else skinny to reach under and push up. Once you've gotten the sensor pushed back into place, you can manually move the shuttle back and forth on the X and Y axis to make sure that it moves smoothly without interference. One difference between the CD820 and the CE870 is in the location of the card output hopper. Even though the CE870 has a flap and a, what appears to be an output hopper on the top unit, once cards have been completed, they're actually dispensed from the bottom output hopper tray. To power on the CE870, press the power button on the front of the upper unit and wait for the device to come to a ready state. Once the front panel of the CE870 displays ready status, uh, indicates that the device is ready to emboss cards. You'll also notice that on the lower unit, a green LED is illuminated when the lower unit is receiving power. So if you don't see that green light, check your connections on the power supply and make sure you have power at the wall. There's no switch on the lower unit, just the power button on the top. In terms of cleaning, um, clearing jams, replacing supplies on the top unit of the CE870, the structure and function of this top unit is identical to the CD820 single or multi-hopper, so please refer to those training videos for more information.